Hey guys, my name is Jesper Nissen, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I humanize my ChatGPT content using a service called Scriber AI Detector. So in yesterday's video, I showed you how I trained ChatGPT to write landing pages, and I just thought that it would be appropriate to follow that video up with a video of me how, showing how you how to edit AI content. Because uh, the AI content that we get from ChatGPT, even if I train ChatGPT to write like me, Still, it has some of the footprints of this being AI content, and uh, some of the footprints are long sentences, overly long sentences, and also fluff words uh, like, um, I don't know, yeah, just fluff words. So uh, yeah, so let's get started. So what I do is I search Google for Scriber, Scriber AI Detector, and this is the guy here. And the reason that I like Scriber AI Detector is that it's uh, precise, it's free, and it's also extremely fast. So I will now copy my entire article that I wrote yesterday. Oops. Down to dot here. Copy, and I will paste it into Scriber and let's see what it says. So it says it, uh, it marks it as 96% uh, percent of AI. So what I'm going to do now in this video, I'm going to show you uh, uh, the manual process that I use for editing this content. So what I will do is I will focus on rewriting some of it in uh, first person. I will focus on uh, removing fluff manually and I'll also focus, focus on making the sentences shorter whenever needed because whenever you can make a sentence shorter, you do that. Humans prefer to read short sentences and uh, it's more precise and it's just more like a human. So uh, let's get started. So just uh, the way that Scriber works is that you rewrite something and then you click detect again. So I just want to, uh, to bring your attention to the fact that uh, you need to rewrite a certain portion of the text before it's actually reflected in the score that you get. So now, right now I have 96. Uh, but I, I need to, you know, work on a couple of sentences, three or four sentences before I can actually get the score down. So let's get started. So I like that actually the keyword pest control in Burleson. That's what I would like. What I would do, uh, I would probably insert the company name. So let's scroll on. Uh, at oh, scroll on. Uh, offer yeah simply like this just to uh, remove all of that fluff key takeaways that's uh, of course many AI machines and uh, also my prompt use this key takeaways because we know that Google values that you kind of like summarize for Google what your page is about it can seem a little bit AI so uh, yeah so but I, I like it because I know that Google likes it. So I'll now just uh, focus on editing uh, this. So at scroll on, we provide, I would remove specialized, seems like fluff because clients assume that you are specialized. They assume you are effective. They assume that you are good at your work. So unless it's absolutely necessary, I don't, you know, insert these fluff words like specialized and uh, effective and fast because they do assume that you are that. So a grow on we provide pest service, pest control service. Our main working or we 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 the service Burleson and surrounding Surrounding cities. We help with a variety of pest related problems. So it may seem like uh, that, uh, oh, this is a lot of work, but uh, I mean, it's, it is relatively quickly. 
uh, quick. You do need to, so now I'm down to 91. So you do need to uh, spend some minutes, let's say five to 10 minutes to, to do this, but it's, uh, yeah. So let's say, let me just uh, continue our we help with so the reason that i want to uh, keep this because this sentence kind of like is a way to include this rodent control mosquito control and parameter pest management that are these uh, long tail keywords that we know helps with rankings we use They are very effective for pest management. Let's see here. Yeah, so 85. So uh, yeah, so you can see it's uh, relatively fast. So in my uh, opinion, it's um, it's the first couple of hundred word, couple of hundred words. Uh, the first couple of hundred words are the most important to edit to be non-AI like uh, because I'm pretty sure that uh, and I can see from my testing that Google seems to value the, the first two, three, four hundred words the most when they are judging your content. So that's just what I see. So uh, what I try to do is I try to work my way down through the content and uh, just like you can see and just edit it. So let me just uh, Go on here. Uh, dealing with invasive organisms can impact daily life and property value, making professional pest management essential. So this sentence, this is super duper typical uh, AI fluff. I would either consider simply removing that sentence or at least rewriting it and making it much sh shorter. So, um, um, I was dealing with invasive organisms like best bug can make your life a living hell. Make your life a living hell. I don't know if that's entirely correct. Uh, it perhaps a little bit of an exaggeration, but I mean, it's uh, certainly sounds like a human wrote that. Um, I will delete that, dude. We, we have a large team modern techniques. That's also fluff. Um, add crawl on dude. We have a large team of certified pest control workers. We thus we for this. Let's see what it says. Detect. Ah. Um. Okay. Dude. Let's see here. Dude. Uh. Invasive organism, do, 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 do. we have a large team of certified, this ensures. Do, 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 do. So I think, so there's uh, something here that it doesn't like. Uh, do, 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 do. We have a large team of certified pest control workers. Um, it's important for us to Sure, that our pest eradication is effective. Let's see here. Let's just delete that. Um, this is done. Uh, 
I constant application on our parts. I don't know if that's correct, but uh, <coughs> that's uh, I mean, it's it's good to add sentences like this. It's good to add if it's correct, of course. But uh, if you are a professional, it is probably correct that you you're kind of like you're training your staff, you're training yourself, you're taking courses and you are getting better at your job. So now we are down to 80%. And um, I think I'll, uh, I'll probably stop here because I think that you get the, the point. Um, uh, let, let me take uh, just a couple of sentences. So I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just restructure the, um, the way that this sentence is written because the warm climate and rich vegetation in Burleson create an environment conducive to the proliferation of various pests. I simply don't like that. So I'll make two, two sentences of this. Burleson has a warm climate. Um, that can create uh that can cause problems with various pests uh um i see here uh warm where see here yeah so that helps uh, so you can see inserting some of these words like that so we're down to 76 now yeah so now i will stop you get the picture so um so you can scroll down so here as you can see where you need to work and where you need to edit and i would say that when you get down to 60 or 50 or 40 when you get down to 40 for sure it's 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 fine uh, but um, whenever you see a long sentence like this for sure break it up when you see a long sentence like uh, this break it up and when you see a long sentence like this root break it up um yeah so and the good thing about editing the content like this is that you don't remove any of the keywords that will cause this to rank high. So the keywords uh, are bifentrin and fipronil and EPA approved insecticides and uh, you know stuff like that, uh, rodent control, mosquito control, all, the, all of these keywords are the keywords that will ensure that you do rank high. So yeah, so in this manual process will not rewrite it in a manner uh, so as to remove these words because you're doing it you're doing it yourself and i know you're probably going to say well yes but how does that help me because i, I thought I, ch I saved a lot of time by using ChatGPT and having ChatGPT to read my content well uh, it will help you because uh, the ai machine actually did all the hard work for you because it actually grabbed the uh, entities and the related keywords and inserted it into your content so I have done a lot of testing with automated software and automated AI software you know, to, to generate hundreds and hundreds of articles and pages and stuff like that. And it's, it's really not that effective anymore. You know, of course, if you're doing it at scale and you're creating thousands of articles, then some will rank, I know. But this is not mass content. This is quality content that you're going to, to insert in your own website. If it was my website, if I had the website of pest control or of grow lawn, I would not, for sure, I would not insert this without editing it. For sure, I would not. And I'm pretty sure that you would also not. So just uh, think of this like you're managing your business. You're saving a lot of time by having the uh, AI to take the entities, use the reading your text and inserting the entities and making sure that all your services are included in the, in the text and then uh, spend 10 minutes just editing going on like i just showed you and uh, still instead of spending half a day of writing a piece of text i know 
from my own websites like Schema Writer. Uh, you know, uh, I, I I don't I don't want to tell you how many hours I spent on writing this content. It took me a lot of hours because I'm just sitting there and I'm overthinking and I'm just you know I want the keywords I want it to read well, and all of that stuff. And uh, so so this process will save you time. Let's say. How much time can you actually use on this? I would say uh, less in less than an hour, you can produce a very good and high ranking landing page content using the uh, process from the video from yesterday and the process in this video. I would say that's an hour, less than an hour. So yeah, so that's uh, it from today's video. I hope you like it guys, a little bit long. I know me sitting there clicking around, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.